Hello, and welcome to the first in tutorial in my set, Modeling a Car in Hexagon. What is Hexagon, you may ask? Well, Hexagon is what you're looking at now. It's this wonderful little program that is a 3D modeling program. Uh, it's very powerful. Look at all these tools, these cool icon-based tools that you have. You can make a custom set here, which I haven't done. But, uh, it's very, very powerful. And uh, you can do some really awesome stuff with this. Now, Hexagon is uh, has kind of, kind of been pigeonholed as a program into mostly creating props and body morphs for the program poser, which it does very well. But most uh, of the users probably aren't utilizing it to its maximum potential. And that's what I'm going to do here. I haven't seen any other car modeling tutorials on Hexagon, so maybe mine will be the first. I'm going to take you start to finish from the very first steps into the final part where it's pretty much game ready. So get ready. Also, I want to uh, state that I am not an expert in Hexagon, as I'm, you know, have a little more expertise in other pro 3D modeling programs, but. Uh, I've done a lot of modeling, so but this is the first time I've modeled a car in Hexagon. So it's going to be interesting. The first thing you're going to need is blueprints. Now, uh, if you go to this cool site called theblueprints.com, you can see that, oh, here, I'll take you back to the first. Okay, this is what it looks like when you go into the very first of it. News, new blueprints, that stuff. Then you go in here, Blueprints Database to Cars. Now, we are going to be modeling a Maserati Maroc. Now, I've already got Maserati selected here, so we're going to go to that page. It brings up all the cars that they have in our database that uh, are Maseratis. And these stand for front, top, rear, and side. And the check marks means that those blueprints are there. Some of them you can see only have sides. That's a pretty much a, not a good sign for modeling. But if we go down here to the car that we are looking at, the Maroc, we have two versions of the 1973 and this one, which are basically the same thing, and click on this, it brings up this nice crisp image. Now, it brings up a nice crisp image because I am a member of this site. Membership is free, fill it out, and then you can download these images. Download it, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So back to Hexagon. Okay, now I want to explain a little bit about Hexagon's uh, interface here. Down here you have different styles of windows. Now uh, you can select any one of number one of, of these you want. I go with the four windows to start out with the uh, top view, perspective view, right view and front view. Okay, so, uh, but you can select any any configuration you want. Also down here you have these tools, the manipulators. If I click on this and go in here and left click, I can manipulate like that. This is the panning one. And this one here is kind of unnecessary because your mouse wheel does the same thing. So, I'm all set up here and I want to start modeling but first we have to, to uh, prepare our blueprints and to do that I'm going to use the program GIMP. Paint.net I use that on the Pantera modeling tutorials which you can find by clicking on other videos and seeing those but for this one I'm going to use GIMP just to make it interesting. Okay. GIMP is free. Now, here's GIMP. Now I'm going to go in, open cars. Let's see. As you can see, I've already done it, but hey, let's see. Uh, cars. I can't find it. Let's go to the original blueprints. There 
go. All right, here we go. Now we've got to start uh, cropping these things. So I'm going to go up here and hit this select selection square, and I'm going to drag it around that, let loose, and I'm going to copy and then create a new one. It already kind of knows what I'm going to do, so it opens up a window. I hit Control V, paste it in there. I'm going to go up here and hit the magic wand tool and left click it twice. Now, every left clicking it twice outside, don't touch the car. So this selects everything on the outside of the car. Now I go up to select and hit invert, and just the car is selected. Go to image, crop to selection. Now we can file, save as, and I'm going to go back in here, documents, blueprints, Eric, and I'm going to see this is top.jpg. Go down here, all images, JPEG. You do have to type in JPG or you get an error with GIMP. So then it brings up this, save, yeah. Okay, and get rid of that. Now we're going to do the same thing here on the side. Drag your selection box around that. Copy. New. Yep. Paste. Okay. Now, magic wand on two. Select. Invert. Image. Crop to selection. File. Save as. I'm just going to put side.jpg where I selected for a JPEG down here. And save. Okay. Same thing on the front and the back. These blueprints are pretty clean, so I don't have to really modify them. Let's see. Copy. Control V, paste it. Magic wand twice. Select invert image. Crop to selection. File save as. And we're going to do the back. Dot JPG. Passage. No. B A C K dot JPG. Okay. One more. something it didn't like. Ah, uh, we've got some writing down here on the front one. So, I see how you are. Okay. We're going to have to get rid of that writing. So, what I'm going to do is just hit the eraser and start cleaning that up. Alright, that should do it. Back to the selection or the magic wand. There we go. Okay. Invert. And crop to selection. Very good. So, file. Yes. We will have front. Dot JPG. Okay. We are through with GIMP and we are ready to start going. Don't save. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Oops. All right, uh, let's see. Documents. Blueprints. Yeah, and there's all. I've actually got. Couple more in here because I've been practicing on it. 